Hi, my name is Carlos Afonso. I'm director for the Institute for Technology and Society of Rio de Janeiro. We are discussing in this conference the issues regarding uh, AI and inclusion. And the main challenge here is to understand the role that AI uh, might play out in defining our lives in the future. Since AI is impacting and will definitely create even more impacts on issues as different as health, education, labor, industry. So it's important to understand how those impacts will end up playing out and make sure that those impacts are not on a negative side and that we can take the best of the opportunities that the AI deliver and at the same time we might overcome the challenges that the AI will pose us. And this is important to mention because when we think about uh, developing countries we see that most of the time the big discussion around AI is framed around values, demands and needs from the North Hemisphere, from develop, developed countries. And in this particular issue, it's important to keep an eye on how the Global South, on how developing countries might react differently to the demands and to the needs concerning the debate uh, around AI. I believe the key factor here is to make sure that developing countries are protagonists and not only consumers of ideas, products and services that had been created elsewhere. So in the next couple of years, the activities that are needed to be taken in order to take this discourse, to take this narrative, is to make sure that those demands coming from the Global South, they are clear. And in order for that to happen, we need evidence-based research. And that's where a global network of internet and society research centers might play a role in providing uh, evidence-based research events in order to create this narrative that will be uh, useful for policymakers to take a decision on issues concerning AI, for the general public to understand a little bit better what this whole debate means. And that's the point in which universities might play an important role in translating this debate to the general public and to the media. And at the same time, make sure that academic debate is not conceived among their specific elements and the usual conversation and reach out to the acad outside of the academic bubble and to find a larger public and to make sure that this narrative comes across.